environmental mandates looming, the city of Rushville, Indiana, needed to find a way to eliminate untreated CSO discharges into the Flat Rock River, and fast. In early 2015, the city began looking at an alternative treatment, cloth media filtration. Rushville is a rural community, um, mainly agrarian, so everything around the city is, is basically farmland. It's 6,300 people, and it is uniquely positioned between Indianapolis and Cincinnati. We're one of 120 CSO communities here in Indiana. The sewer system was put in in 19 or 1894. That was the original sewer system. No, there was no treatment. But the first me mechanical plant wasn't built until 1949. That's the first mechanical plant. Uh, they still had CSOs that back then, uh, around 300,000 gallons a day, would be uh, untreated and go going to the, to the Flat Rock River. In 2007, we signed a uh, agreed order with IDEM, Indiana Department of Environmental Management, to construct a facility that would ultimately uh, uh, remove the CSOs from the sewer system. The city of Rushville had to, through its long-term control plan, had to take itself out of the combined sewer community. And so to do that, we had to start looking at what our options were to be able to adhere to that. Each Aqua Prime cloth media filter unit, each tube has 14 discs attached to it. During dry weather, it automatically cleans uh, every hour, and it does, when it cleans, it vacuums seven discs at a time for one minute, and then does another uh, seven disc for another minute. The pilot testing was done in the summer of uh, 2015 here. Uh, what we did is that an existing CSO here in the plant, the, uh, when the gate opened for the CSO to operate during a wet weather event, a pump would kick on and pumped uh, the water from a regulator structure and pumped it over to a maintenance building where we had the pilot plant facility set up so it automatically took discrete samples every 15 minutes uh, for the process and we monitored actually and sampled for five different rain events during the summer of 2015. We were easily meeting limits of five milligrams per liter of CVOD, five and five milligrams per liter TSS and UV transmissivity of 85% uh, or greater. What was unique about this job was that because of this technology and the ability to use existing infrastructure, we saved over a million dollars uh, from the original concept and the original budget. Not only that, but the utility itself was able to get additional improvements done that set them up long-term and were more prepared for the future that we are added on. What it allowed us to do was to get the project completed quicker, and so we've been able to satisfy the mandate years before uh, we were required to. We have eliminated all of our CSO issues. At one time we were, on an annual basis, we were uh, discharging probably 10 events per year, uh, totaling over 50 million gallons. All of that uh, overflow has been removed. The long-term control plan is complete. Um, we are now just in the process of having IDEM sign off on it and moving on, so we are no longer a combined sewer uh, community, which is the ultimate goal for a community, uh, especially a community of our age. Due to the Aqua Prime technology, we are putting out the best quality of water that we ever have put out here in Rushville.